if you didn't already know, H&M have run their own clothing recycling scheme since 2013. You just go into store with a bag of clothes, find a member of staff, and the member of staff will take the bag of clothes off you and give you a voucher for £5 off your next purchase of clothes in store or online. I took the need to be recycled kind of pile into H&M and was given a voucher for £5 off my next £25 spend. So this video is about what I was able to spend this on in the sales because at the moment H&M have got quite a big sale going on in store and online and they had quite a few bargains which included stuff that I actually needed. So yeah, that's great. Morning campers! So this video is part three and the final part of my H&M haul. I also picked up a jumper that's the same style and price as the light blue one but this one is red and if I hold it up to the camera in the light you can see that it's got little indigo-y marbling effect little bits on it. Again this was £9 and again unfortunately it's not proper wool but hopefully the polyester acrylic -y blend will last a few more times through the wash than I've found it to in the past. But yeah, let's try this on and see what it looks like. This is the little red jumper that I got. Yeah, I quite like it. The little bluey, blacky, navy coloured little threads that are in it for the marbled effect aren't massively noticeable and they're in light, they don't make it look too burgundy. It still looks quite a nice red colour. The sleeves are a little long but this is actually where I like my jumper sleeves to finish because in the winter I have rain nose disease which affects my circulation so it helps to keep my hands and my fingers a little bit warmer to have longer sleeves on things and yeah I quite like it. Usually the problem I have because I have really long arms is that sleeves finish like up here like this so they end up like three quarter sleeves when they're not meant to be, they're meant to be full length sleeves. So. Yeah, this is a win-win for my arms. Considering it's uh, only like a little thin jumper, it's actually keeping me quite warm as I'm stood here talking to you. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. I think overall I'd probably give this about an eight. Next item is also a pair of trousers and these were in the sale for nine pounds by the little sale tag. They're these stretchy, trousery, jeany type things. They actually look quite comfortable and quite formal and might even be able to get away with wearing them for work rather than standard work trousers. They've got little zips on the side which are actual pockets which is good, it means I've got somewhere to stash my biscuits or my phone or something or even my keys if my car keys will fit in the pocket, I'm not quite sure. And on the back they're just plain back no like pockets or anything and they're quite stretchy as well these so hopefully if I do end up wearing them to work they're going to be quite comfortable for me to wear all day. The last item is this little turtleneck top in blue. It's a similar colour to the jumper I showed you actually. Um, yeah it's quite nice. I quite like the colour blue Particularly with my skin, it just seems to match my skin tone quite well and I've got quite blue undertones so it just sort of brings them out and brings out the extra blueness in my eyes so they look blue and rather than grey or green. Yeah, this was £10 which my mum said at the time when I was buying it, she said these are quite expensive tops aren't they? And I was like, mm, yeah, okay. It's a little bit much for a top but Nowadays, this is the kind of price you have to pay, isn't it? Really, gone are the days where you could pick one up for like four or five quid. And I suppose you probably can in Primark, but they don't have this style. And I do really like the turtlenecky, roll necky kind of thing that is autumn and winter because it basically helps to keep me a little bit warmer than just a standard crew neck. But yeah. This one's a full length top rather than cropped and the arms on this look quite long which is good because I've got long arms and a lot of the time things like this don't tend to fit so we'll try it on and see if it fits. These are the nice comfy trousers and the roll necky polo necky top on together. Yeah I quite like this these pair together it's quite like a worky look I can get always going to work with these on particularly if I've got a blazer. Although I have to say my mum's first comment when I picked this top up because of the roll over neck was that if you paired that with a blazer you look like a Russian U-boat captain. I was like, 
Thanks, Mum. <laughs> but yeah, again, the seeds on this are quite long, which I don't really mind because I can always roll them up. Or if they're tucked inside a blazer, it doesn't really matter, and I'm quite glad to have sleeves that actually fit. Um, yeah. This rolly over necky bit is a bit fiddly and it tends to have a little bit of a mind of its own because mine's like all creased over around the top. But I think if I actually like ironed it into position and after a few times of folding it over, I think it would probably settle down in its own little way and sort itself out. I like these trousers as well. They're actually really comfy. I can feel like the stretch on them feels really nice when I move about. It feels a bit like I've got a pair of leggings on instead of actually a pair of trousers. The zip fits all right, the zip didn't snag or anything, and the pockets are actually decent enough for me to be able to stick my hands in if I want to. Stick my hands in all around. And I might not get my phone in because my phone's a bit big for these pockets, but yeah, I definitely get like a packet of biscuits or a, obviously not a full size pack of biscuits, but like the little the little biscoffy sized biscuits we fit in here, which I'm quite partial to a little snacky biscuit with my cup of tea. And yeah, I've fit a couple of little things in there. And again, the trousers, usually I have to roll them up or they bunch up at the bottom. They looks like they're bunching up a little bit, but nowhere near as much as they usually do. But the only thing that's actually wrong with these is that they need to go in the wash because they're a little bit dusty from being in the shop. But hey, there's nothing wrong with that. That can run us on a quick 30 degree wash. So I'll probably say about a nine for the top and again a nine for the trousers. So this is the end of my H&M haul over the past three videos. Finally got through the whole gigantic bag, which is now pretty much empty, apart from a couple of receipts and a couple of tags. I think all in all, on that haul I spent about £40, which isn't too bad, and I ended up doing it in two transactions so that I could get the uh, money off using the two vouchers that I got, so I think I spent in the end forty pound, just over forty pounds. I will put the actual figure up on the screen, and then that was that was after the discount had been taken off with the vouchers. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It is a bit expensive for me, as I've said before. I'm used to buying things second hand, so yeah. But I'm going to get a lot of enjoyment out of these clothes. I'll, I'll give them that. I'm the type of person that was bought up on secondhand clothing and hand-me-downs from my older cousins and yeah so new clothes is quite a privilege and it's quite a nice little treat actually it's something that I really like to be able to to do to buy myself new clothes as, as a treat so yeah I'm quite pleased and hopefully I'll get a lot of wear out of them <laughs> It's been a refreshing change actually for me to be able to go out and buy clothes first hand. Usually I tend to buy them from eBay, second hand from other sellers, or I go and look around charity shops and buy things second hand. Unfortunately I don't have the money to be able to buy clothes, new clothes, first hand or brand new all the time. So it's quite nice and hopefully these will last the distance and last me for quite a while so I won't need to be going into the charity shop to buy things to replace them quite so soon. If you like this video let me know by giving it a little like and don't forget to subscribe as well. See you all soon, bye!